In this video, I will teach you how to make these eyes, how to rig them, and then how to animate them. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by creating a uh, sphere. So add a uh, subdivision surface modifier with six subdivisions. Then apply the modifier. And then we can go into edit mode by pressing tab. Then press Alt Shift S, then one to uh, create a uh, perfect sphere. And then we can go back to object mode by pressing tab. And uh, let's add some smooth shading as well to add some additional smoothness to the object. And then next, we're going to make the background completely white. And then go into rendered view. And then we can start creating the eye material. And the eye material is very simple to make. So I we'll just press N to remove the side panel. And then let's set the roughness to 1. And then next, press Shift A to add a node. And we're going to add the gradient texture, which we will use to create the different eye colors, then set the type to diagonal, and then connect the factor to the base color. And then next, to control the gradient texture, we're going to add a color ramp, which we can also use to add multiple colors, which we need both for the iris and the pupil. And then to remove the fading between the different colors, we can set the color interpolation to constant. And then the first color is going to be white. And then for the iris, I'm going to make it blue, but uh, you can of course make it green, brown, or um, another color if you want to. And then I'm going to set it around 0 0.803. And then we need to add the uh, last color, which is going to be black, which is the pupil. And that's how you make a uh, very simple eye material procedurally in Blender. Now, before we continue, we can save the project. So go to File, Save As. And I'm going to create a new folder. Give the folder a name. Select the folder. Then give the project a name. And then press Enter to save. And then next, I'm going to uh, bake the uh, material. So let's go into cycles and uh, then bake. And uh, baking allows us to rig the eye without having any problems with the procedural texture. So set the bake type to diffuse. And then for the contributions, I'm just going to use color. And then add an image texture to the material. And then next, we need to add a new image that we can bake the procedural texture to. And for the width and the height, we can set it to around 4000. Or if you want a uh, faster bake, 2000 should be enough. Okay. Okay, so now we have the image set up. And now we can bake the uh, procedural texture. And after a few minutes of baking, you can see that we now have the image texture. It's of course pixel graphics instead of vector graphics. But an image texture is of course much easier to deal with both in Blender and in other software. Okay, and then next we need to display the axis of the object. And we need to align it to one of the axes. So let me just switch back to Eevee. And then let's expand this window and then press tab for edit mode, and then press R, then set, to rotate it on the Z axis. And then press knob at 7 for top view, and then press R, set, then 45, to rotate it 45 degrees on the Z axis, so that it aligns with the Y axis. And that way it's going to be much easier to rig the eye. And then next, we can add a track to object constraint to control the rotation of the eye. So uh, let's add an empty to control the eye. And then press G, then Y to grab it on the Y axis, S to scale the empty down. 
and then select the eye and then target the empty in the uh, track to object constraint and then change the uh, track axis to the y-axis and then up to the set axis okay so now we can select the empty and when you press G to grab you can now control the eye okay so now we have one eye and next we're going to uh, duplicate both the empty and the object so press number seven then shift D and X to duplicate and move the duplication on the X axis as you can see, we can now control both eyes at the same time. And you can of course still adjust the distance between the two eyes by selecting both the object and the empty, then pressing G, then set to grab them on the set axis. And then next, hold in shift and select both empties, then press shift S and then shift A. And uh, let's add a cube in the middle. And then press S to scale it down and hold in shift and select all of them and then press ctrl p and uh, set it parent to the cube as you can see when we press g we now control both eyes at the same time with just one empty okay and then i'm going to create another save and then the next step will be to animate the empty cube so that we get an eye animation so uh, press n to open the side panel and then press I to keyframe the location of the empty and then let's go a bit forward in time by pressing space and then press I and then press G then I and then G then I and let's go a little bit forward and then press G then I Okay, so now we have a very simple animation. And before we end the tutorial, we just need to do one more thing, and that is to save the uh, baked image. So let's select one of the eyes, and then go into the image editor, and then select the bake, then go to image, and then save as, and then give it a name. I press enter to save and then make sure to pack all of the external data into the blender file and then you can save again and uh, that's it for this tutorial thank you guys for watching and subscribe